Hi, I'm really excited to talk about this product from Portis. It is a revolutionary paint here in Australia and you're going to love using it. Chalk emulsion can go straight on any surface. You can straight onto wood, varnish surfaces, metal, plastic, you name it, you can paint on it and you don't need to prime it first. This is very exciting and I'm going to show you how to do it today. The first step to painting with chalk emulsion is choosing your colour. You can be creative. Chalk emulsion comes in any colour you can think of. Choose one from the fan deck or come in with a sample that you love. Um, we can match it for you. Today I've chosen this beautiful green. Um, you know, it's limited to your imagination. So really go for it. Choose a great colour. Have fun with this. This is a product that you can really have fun with. There's no preparation. Choose a fab colour and go for it. These round head brushes are really great for using on furniture, especially when you have moulded areas because it goes in very easily. So grab a brush while you're in the shop. So what I've done is I've been over the piece, I've felt for any lumps, um, any flaky bits of varnish or anything like that, and I've just lightly sanded those bits. You don't need to sand the whole piece of furniture. <laughs> Hooray for chalk emulsion. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on the drawer and um, I've taken the handles off as I told you but also you don't need to, you can paint straight on metal and I'm going to show you now how to paint with this beautiful product. I've just run a cloth over the, uh, over the piece just to get any little bits of dust off and I'm ready to start painting. I have my beautiful colour, my round head brush and off we go. Start with the mouldings so that you get it right into the edges. I'm going to load up my brush just a little bit more and I'm just going to whack the paint on any way I like. Just get into all the corners with your round head brush right there into the corners. Don't worry about going in the, uh, painting with the grain. You can paint this paint in any direction. Just get it on. I can feel it sticking to the varnish and I'm so happy that I haven't had to prime this first. And I'm just finishing this piece with nice straight brush strokes, only out of my own personal preference. This is the way I want to do this piece. Don't feel that you're limited to painting in straight lines. Just have fun with the product. So I'm going on to the top of the furniture now. And while I'm painting here, I would like to express my joy in the beautiful finish. It's a very matte and chalky and it feels soft and it looks like you want to touch it and it's going to be one of those paints that you just love. It will make your piece of furniture part of your home. In saying that, I don't want you to think that you have to limit this beautiful product to furniture. Almost any surface, pre-painted furniture, pre-painted walls, no prep required. So don't feel like it's just for furniture. We can um, paint your walls, your varnished floorboards, your industrial metal lamps in your warehouse loft. You are limited only by your imagination. This paint is amazing. So I'm down to the last section of this furniture now and I'm so happy with the way it's turned out. The top of the furniture is already dry to touch but you will need to wait two hours before doing the second coat but it has a beautiful silky chalky finish and I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. I'm going to be doing two coats to get a Belgian antique look, but you can finish with one coat if you just want a distressed look. The second coat has gone on just as easily as the first, and the results are going to be amazing. When I finish this, we'll be on to the wax. So I finished painting this piece of furniture. It has two coats of the chalk emulsion. I love this finish. It is chalky and matte and textured and it looks really visually beautiful and it feels lovely too. I'm, I'm thrilled. The next step is wax. It does need to be sealed, so you will need to wax after using chalk emulsion. You can use any sort of wax. Here we've got the stucco wax, the bees wax and the antique wax. It's really important not to apply too much and really rub it in. You want a nice, soft, smooth finish. I've finished applying the stucco wax and all I have to do now is buff it. I'm thrilled with the result. It has been so easy to do and we've done this in one day. 
make sure you take before and after photos because you will be amazed at how easy this product is to use and what great results you get.